let's just start. Alright, welcome to the Wheel of Time t tutorial. Uh, the first things you're going to want to do if you want to stream this game is go on Google and download DX Story. I think you might need the full version, but I can't remember. Uh, to set that up, just go to YouTube. There's a ton of tutorials. And uh, that's how you're going to be able to stream it, uh, because this game's a piece of shit to stream. Um, the next thing you want to do is go to your hardware. Once you get the game running, go to your hardware and go to advanced options. And in there, there's a few things you're going to want to change, probably. Um, first, I'm going to let you know my keybinds. So if you go into advanced and then raw keybindings, what you're going to want to do, or what I do at least, is I bind Q to show mission objectives. Um, this is just to skip the beginning kind of tutorial story mi uh, message at certain levels. Uh, you're going to want to bind E and R to quick save and quick load. That's just so that you can twitch save and twitch load quicker. And then mouse wheel down and mouse wheel up, both should be jump. So that uh, jumping makes your movement faster. So you're just not gonna wanna be scrolling pretty much all the time. And then, not keybinder related, but everyone goes to the rendering section and go to direct 3D support and turn use pre-cache to false because that also saves a bit of time. And once you've done all that, or um, made your own keybinds, should be good to go. So what we do to start is single player, new game, and then you wa want to make sure you're on easy difficulty. Gold convinced a sailor to take me down the Manether Endral, but drawing near so timer doesn't start yet. Timer starts as soon as you exit this message. So in order to do that, you just want to hit escape. So timer would start. Escape, and at the same time you hit escape, you would start your split timer. So for me, it would be escape and Z. I would tap them at the same time. So in order to quick save, you just want to hit E or F5 if you're not using that keybind. But uh, for this first part, you're just going to want to be scroll wheeling up and down so that you get, so that you jump as fast as you can. You're just going to want to follow this path for a bit. You want to grab those heals. Uh, heals heal for 10 health each. Your health is in the top left. So if I had 92 health, I probably would not want to heal because that would be losing two health automatically. And here's the first trick right up here. Um, you're going to want to twitch save before this if you're practicing. So there's this wheel right here. And if you walk into it in a certain way and jump, you can get a little boost up in here. So in order to do that, uh, I'll wait for this guy's shots to uh, So I just froze everything just so that I can show you this. Um, so set up a twitch save here. In order to do this, um, basically you're going to run into this at kind of a 45 degree angle like this. You want to have your cursor probably around there, like in between these two spokes. So you just want to run at it and then jump. And uh, you have to run straight into it. And then as you run into it, you can see in the top left, my vision kind of goes up and down. And while it's doing that, you just want to jump. And I just jump by scroll wheeling. Uh, you could also use your spacebar. This kind of requires a lot of practice, but um, it saves about seven seconds. So if you don't want to do that, just when you're starting, you just want to run up here, go up the hill, and jump down. But that takes about six to seven seconds. So once more, you just want to run at it and jump. And sometimes it won't work. Um, you're going to have to do a lot of practice to get it even semi-consistent. But after you do that, you just want to get the fireball. And this is kind of a hard jump, but you just want to come up here. Oops, I have to turn my cheat off. So you just want to get it. Oops, get it, run up. And you don't want to do a hard fireball jump here, I think. Um, so the normal method of fireball jumping is just to tap your left click and your right click at the same time. Um, the other one is to tap a left click and then right click slightly after, so it would look like this. And it gives you a slightly higher jump, and we use that for a couple jumps. So once you do that and you're up here, you just want to keep following the path to the right. Then we're going to make a slight detour and grab these fireballs. And you just want to come over here, and you want to do a fireball jump again. And you want to land on this, and if you land in it a certain way, you can sometimes get speed boost. So I got a mini boost right there. Uh, you can get anywhere from like 1 to 4. 
but that ends the first level. And then if you did rebind your thing to Q, um, you just hit Q and it'll go away. So you can do that during the mission load. And that's the fastest way I found to do it. You don't have to put it to Q, you can do it to F3, which is the default. But while it's loading, you just hit Q and you won't even see the message. Then you just want to follow the first few stairs. And then once you get to this one with the little window, you just want to go slightly past the window, turn around, probably turn to the side and do another hard fireball jump. So again, just turn to the side. Sometimes you won't get the height, so I would suggest standing like still, like stop your movement com completely and just go to the side like that. And then you're just going to keep following the path. After this doorway, you want to turn left, get the heal, and heal yourself. Um, I had a bit low health there, so I just healed myself with all of them. Normally, I think you would have about one or two extra. You just want to fireball jump over that gap, and then here you want to jump down, land on this, jump down again. So I'll do that all on, once more. So you just want to follow this path a bit. Turn, heal, get yourself as close to full as possible, then fireball jump right there, follow the path, and then two things here. So you can either do it the normal way, which is just a fireball, or not to fireball, just to jump twice, or if you kind of fall, you can quick save and quick load, and that'll um, make you not take damage. You want to fire two fireballs at that guy so that he doesn't chase you. And you just want to follow through here. You want to use the shield when you get it, so just three and click. Fire two more fireballs at this guy, then keep running past and all the way up the stairs. And then there's a spell up here, which we're going to grab and then backtrack a bit. So there's two things you can do here. Uh, these rocks on the ground, they're pretty much RNG. They can be placed anywhere around here. Uh, if you get one here, you might want to try and do a rock jump off of it. Um, the normal way to do it is just to go to the wall. You can kind of see the water level. And you just want to look straight at the water level and just jump like that. If you have a rock, um, you can also jump off it just like that. And uh, depending on the placement of the rock, it can be about a second faster. If you have enough health, uh, there's another strategy you can do here. Uh, so you can fireball jump and land up here or if you don't have health or just want to be safe you can just run around and land here and then this is another uh spot where you have to do a hard fireball jump so again you just want to click left and right with a slight um space in between so instead of clicking both at the same time like that just left and right and in order to get this position what i do is just stand here and I look right at that little crack there, then I just left click and right click slightly in between. And that seems to be pretty consistent. There's going to be another Trolloc straight to my left here. So you just want to jump around, fireball him so that he doesn't hit you, and continue. This guy is going to knock down some stairs, um, but we're just going to fall like a fireball over it. So again, just simple fireball jump like that. So you're at pretty low health here, uh, so you don't want anyone to hit you, so fireball that guy again, and just run past. Here, you want to go straight to the right. If you're low on health like I am, you might want to wait so that that guy can't hit you. Then once your shield is popped, you can see that in the top left, um, you want to pop your next shield and fireball jump. One over here, you need the heals that I just picked up right there. You don't need the seekers, but you can grab them if you want. And last fireball jump just up there. And then you just jump to the end. And you want to use those heals to get you as close to full health as possible. And again, hit Q while it's loading. You want to hit this lever. There's some mist that can come out of here. You don't want it to hit you or uh, it'll kill you really fast, but you can get through there pretty quick. And then you're just going to come over here to the left. You're going to hit four and use the shift that we got in the last level and just go straight through the wall. Come to the right over here, another right. Look that. If you need health, there's health here. If you need fireballs, there's fireballs there. We're just gonna run through here. There's another Trolloc sitting right there, so we're just gonna fireball. And it'll make him jump up. And then you can give yourself a little boost there if you have enough health. 
If not, you can just run straight down. And there's another Shulk there, you just want to fireball him as well. And then this is the boss, um, so what you want to do here is you enter the room and you run straight off to the right. Once you get around here at this door, you want to start throwing Seekers, grab the next Seekers, and just keep firing once you get here. I'm going to keep using Seekers um, in my 2 slot until I get about 5 or 6, 4 or 5 or 6 Seekers left. If he shoots those little ghosts, you can kill them with 3 darts in your 2 slot. Or if you get a seeker to hit him, you can do that. So once he dies, you just want to come over here and get these. And then you want to turn up your volume, and uh, you want to listen. There's a guy who spawns after that guy dies, and you can spawn in any of these four directions. So you just want to listen now. So I saw him, but I also heard him spawn right there. So I always fire two seekers, and then switch over to my darts in my one slot and hit him. And he's pretty easy to kill. Um, I'll reload that, just so that we can do that once more. So once I get down to around 5, uh, you can also dodge his attacks by jumping, but sometimes uh, he can kill you really easily. So once I get to 5, I just switch over to darts, finish him off, grab the heals, then I'm going to be quiet and listen. He spawned there this time. Fire two Seekers, switch over, and you just want to dodge his attacks. And then in the loading screen, I just hit Q, and skip it. This is the timed level, so what you want to do here, you just want to run over here. Sometimes a Trollic can spawn there, so you don't want to look there. Sometimes one can spawn there, so just get your Seekers out, because it takes one Seeker to kill these guys. Uh, these are roots, they heal you for 20 health, um, slowly over time. So I pick up one of those. And you can see the timer in the top right, so you'll know um, you're getting close to the end when the timer starts getting into the red. I picked up these shields right here. Uh, if you use them, the mist that comes out of the walls cannot hurt you. But other than that, what is really required and what we really come here for are these shields right here. You need to grab them. And then you just want to make sure that you don't use them. So I need three shields, I need about 10 heals is optimal, and then you want a good amount of fireballs, the max is 35. So once you have the shields, uh, you just want to come over here and use the rest of your darts to kill that guy. If you run out before you kill him, it's okay because there's more right here. And then now I see that I have three shields and 10 heals, so I'm perfect. Uh, if you need more heals, they're right there. So now I'm going to go out of bounds and just wait until the level ends, basically. So you just want to come over here. And at this black spot, I jump to the left and get onto this little ledge. I do a hard fireball jump up. And another one up again. And then you're out of bounds. And if you just sit over here, don't go too far off to the right or you'll fall down. If you just set up here, um, you're safe, nothing will hit you. So you just want to use your heals to get to full. And then keep an eye on that timer in the top right. Because when it uh, gets low again, what we're going to do is just jump down, jump down again. And you can either collect the heals over there, or the heals down there, or the heals up there if you left those. And there's more on the level over there, and you can get there by climbing through stairs in there. But for now, we're just going to wait. And then after this, um, the level picks up. The levels start to pick up. This is your uh, one and only break in the game, basically. But as soon as we get to the next level, what you're going to do is go to your three slot. You're going to get your shields out, the white shield to be specific. I just fell down in my house, that was weird. Um, you the white shield and you're just gonna click on it and that's gonna half all damage that you come that you take so now that my timer is coming down I just want to jump I want to grab some heals now I'm at full health full health full heals all right so again you just want to hit Q or or F3 and skip that you want to turn around and jump over here so you're gonna hit shield 
and just run through here. Or if you don't want to run through here, you can do a fireball jump and get a speed boost off that potentially. But after that, you just want to heal to full again. And if you need more heals, they're right there. You want to jump and either in midair, you want to heal. Yeah, you want to heal in midair there so that you have um, the best amount of heals you can. So I'll just do that once more. Heal in midair, and now I'm at full health with 10 heals again. You want to run up here, you probably want to save. Um, if you need more health, grab the root. Um, if you don't, you can just turn directly through and fireball jump over. Uh, this is a tough part. You want to grab these fine targets, go to your sitch slot, grab the swap places, look over at the door, use your fine target in sitch, use your swap. That went to the wrong target, that can happen. So swap, and then you want to jump backwards and grab another swap places. We're going to use this to do another skip later. So once more, find target, use it, swap, and grab the swap. So now that you're over here, uh, you're going to want to do just another fireball jump. You'll land on these stairs, get to the tip top of these stairs right here, and just turn and jump through that wall. So again, at the very top, if you go down here, you can land down there. If you land down here, you just want to do a fireball jump. But uh, make sure you have a shield on at this point. So you want, just want to land through and then walk through that. When you're down here, you just want to turn to the right. Grab the fire uh, uh, the fire shields, grab the normal shields, and grab the key in the middle. If you forget that key, you will not be able to continue. So again, run through. Shield when you're there. Grab, 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 grab. Switch to your one slot with your fireballs or your darts. And you just want to aim at one of these rates. I'm going to aim at that one. I'm going to shoot. And get out. Uh, you can get ticked for damage there, so you want to keep an eye on your health in the top left. It's pretty important. Um, but once you get through there, you want to switch to your sitch slot and grab those mines that we picked up earlier. Put one down at around this green thing, and just do another fireball jump. If you don't have mines for some reason here, um, you can do a fireball jump up here, but it's really inconsistent. You have to do a hard one to get up there. Then you just want to follow the stairs up, and when you're at the top of the stairs, you want to make sure you're as close to full HP as you can be. So what you're going to do here, you get through the door, you're going to walk forward a bit, and when you get to a, right around there, uh, you just want to look down, place five mines, so one, two, three, four, five. Switch to your three slot, and make sure you don't use the fire shield, or you will be completely screwed. Um, if you use a fire shield, you will not be able to jump. So, one, two, three, four, five. Switch to your normal shield to use it. Then switch to your dart in your one slot. You can also use your fireball, but it does more damage. And you just want to click. Sometimes you'll make it up, sometimes you won't. Um, using a hard fireball jump makes it more likely that you'll make it up. So I just relayed that. And you're up. And you can make it up with anywhere from five to 25 health. And then you just want to use the rest of your heals because you should be pretty close to dead. Go to the left here, grab more heals. Then we're gonna jump off. Um, if you wanna be safe, you can jump like that and just get down and take a little bit of damage. Um, but if you wanna be fast, you just jump around. And then as you get close to the bottom, you just twitch save and twitch load. And that negates your fall damage. And then you just walk over to the door. When you get through here, you wanna shield, or you wanna heal, you wanna use a normal shield. Get your darts out, and then just come around here, look down, and throw down two mines, and then do another fireball jump. I didn't quite get enough health there, or height. And you just want to hit this, turn around, jump down, and you should be a pretty okay health here. And then right here, you want to go to your sitch slot and get your fine target out again, and we're going to use the fine target and the swap places to do another skip. So fine target swap through that door, then we're just going to keep going. You just want to jump through here. You want to sidestep this guy, and then just do a normal fireball jump there. And now here's where those fire shields come in. So you want to use the fire shield, or else you'll take a ton of damage going through there. And you're just going to come down here. And on the other side, there was a level lever as well. I forgot to mention it. But you have to hit both levers, so I can do that. It was right down there. I can do it. Ah, no I can't. Oh, there we go. So when you're coming through this door, you just want to hit that lever on the way. And then go up. So I'll do this part once again. So you should be able to just sidestep him pretty easily. 
jump over, switch to fire shield. Go down, hit the lever and go back up. And that's basically the end of the level. Uh, all you want to do is run through here and trigger the last lever. And then uh, it's basically a timer to when the level stops. Just hit Q again to skip the mission entrance. Walk down the stairs. Now you just want to jump over this little gap. Jump up, jump up to the left and go around. And you have to be pretty quick at this point. Um, you want to hit this lever. What we're going to do basically is hit the lever, use our one slot air pulse to break the glass, jump around, and then do it again on this box, pick up the mines and go through the wall. And you have to make sure you pick up these mines. Simple as that though. You, to, you just have to make sure you don't get stuck on corners or anything. You're just going to walk through here. Turn to the left, then you're going to pick up these two items. Heal and levitate. Uh, what levitate does is you just kind of float in midair. And we're going to use that to get down. Oh, why is that happening? Anyway, uh, before that, we need the shields in this box. So you're just going to grab these. Then you don't want to quick save here. You don't want to... Oh my god, I'm on the wrong spell. There we go. Um, so you want to... As you can see, uh, what's going to happen is this is going to turn into a ramp and you're going to die as you hit the bottom. So you just want to go down and about halfway, just hold down both mouse clicks when you're on your levitate spell in your 8th slot. And you're just going to levitate straight over it. You want to make sure you have at least two charges here. Uh, if you have one, you'll be in trouble for later. So you just want to jump over. You want to jump and levitate over that gap and be careful not to hit this. Or else you will take about 80 damage. You just want to go around there, break that and get the fireball, break this, hit the lever and grab the spell, go to your four slot and use your shift again, and you're just going to look down at this little crack here, go through the wall, then right around here you're going to want to use your shield, hit the lever, grab the stuff, and then make sure you have your shield on here, again you can see in the top left, um, you're just going to want to probably save here and then just do a fireball jump. Sometimes you'll make it, most of the time you will. Um, and then this is one of the harder tricks in the game. Once you get it, it's pretty consistent, but uh, my tips for this are don't stand on this. If it turns into a ramp, you probably did something wrong and you're in trouble. So just stand right around here. And uh, you don't need a setup for this, but it's pretty consistent. Um, there's a little like gray circle here that basically fits a mine. I just like to put my mines on there. And then put them both down, make sure they're both activated, and use a fireball while going backwards. Oops. And then as you get to the top, you'll run it into a shift spell. So now you have two shift spells, and then after you get those, you just want to go down again. If you need more heals, they're there. Also, don't use your heals here, because um, you're going to get a free heal in a second. You just want to walk down straight down the center. Uh, if you walk down the sides, you'll get hit. If you jump, there's a chance you'll get hit. But you just want to walk straight down to the center, shift through the wall, and that's the next level. Um, there's a trap here. If you step on it, what happens is fireballs run out. So just, you can step on it if you want. Um, it doesn't really matter. But you just want to step around it. You're going to use... Oops, wrong way. Uh, one fireball on that little gate right there. So just one right there. And then you're going to go into this room. Use the fire shield that you pick up in your three slot. And fire another one. If you don't use the fire shield, that will kill you. Um, if you need more heals, you shouldn't, but if you do, uh, they're in that crate right there. Don't use them yet. Um, you're going to run through here, grab the fireballs, go to your four slot, shift, and just look down. Quick save, quick load, and you're through. And then here's where we get our free heal. So I went from 58 health to 100. Just going to go straight, hit the lever, and then here are the ways. And we're going to start this off by doing a trigger skip. So there are two ways to do it. The fast way is just a fireball jump, land on the pillar, and do another jump. And the slower way is just to jump around like that. That one didn't quite get it. And uh, you'll know you get it if you don't hear or see this person. And she will wreck you. We just like to do jumps like that.
Then you don't want to do one more fireball jump right here. Just to get over that. And then you don't want to heal a bit. You just want to do a normal jump over this. And use your levitate in your 8th slot. Now for that level, um, you just want to jump backwards as fast as you can. Um, you can also shift, uh, which is walk. So basically, when you get down here, um, you're just going to want to walk through and jump backwards. So I just do it with my scroll wheel. And that just skips. You, if you do it wrong, what happens is you just get shoved out and you can't get back up. You just want to run and jump backwards. Or you can enter and hold shift and then jump backwards. Both work, except sometimes when I do that, I get stuck in the doorway. After that, you want to heal up to full and just run through here. You want to go straight. Uh, you can get lost pretty easily, but for the first one, you just go straight. And you want to jump up. You're going to hit a loading zone. Then you just want to turn right at the at this one. And we're going to skip another area here. We're just going to go right. You want to be careful and go around the mines, obviously. We're going to get the swap and the heals. And then you're gonna, you can either walk down all of this. Or you can look down and just do a fireball boost. And it's pretty hard to see. But uh, basically, there's a line running straight down the middle. So you just want to go along that. Then go to your four slot and just spam it going straight forward. And you'll switch with the person right in front of the thing. And you just want to hold back. I'm going to do a boost. And, as I, and you want to make sure you're healing during this too. Or right after this. Swap, go back, and we're in the next zone. So you want to make sure you're at full health here. You just want to turn to your left. Get your fireballs ready. Use your shield, and then twitch save. So once you have your fireballs out, you just go like this. And you're up. Um, it's a bit harder than, than my twitch save. My twitch save may have been corrupted there. I'll have to check. Um, one more issue that can happen in this game is your twitch save can become corrupted. Um, in order to avoid, in order, yeah, if you look on the top left of the screen, it says error saving. Um, so that means your twitch save is corrupted. Thankfully, there's an easy way to fix it. Um, it tends to happen not in runs. Um, so what you want to do to fix it is just escape, load game, and the first option is restart. And now it's fixed. So you just turn to your left. Shield, make sure you're close to full health and get your fireballs out. Twitch save. And what you're going to want to do here is we're going to jump straight up this wall. Um, so what I do is just fireball jump normally. And then you want to look forward a bit, not straight under you. So fireball jump, look forward. Then you just want to keep going up. Um, it takes a lot of practice, but eventually it gets pretty consistent. And this isn't too hard. Um, it just takes a bunch of practice. Um, if you want to see the other way, go to Sabusuka's channel. Um, I can try and do it, but I'm not exactly sure what it is. I think what he does is jumps up here. I'm not sure how to do his, to be honest. I think he jumps up here somehow. He jumps up there. And then he gets over to there, and then goes up the mountain that way. But uh, you can just go to his channel if you want to see that. Because I'm not sure how to do it. And this way's faster, as far as I can tell. By about a second or a half a second. And it may take three fireballs, it may take four. Um, obviously it's better if it takes three. I can't quite get it. There. And then once you get up on the boundary though, you just want to go straight. And you want to walk across this. The exit is that castle over there, so you just want to head out there. Um, what you want to do here is right around this height, so halfway up kind of, a bit less than halfway up. You just want to jump and kind of glide it along this and then go out. Come up here, uh, there's a glitch here that can happen, but um, it's easy enough to fix. Just twitch save before it happens, before you jump rather. Uh, so you just want to do a fireball jump. And that's the glitch that can happen. If you land in a certain place, um, you get teleported out here. And you take about 40 damage. So the next level is just here. Run into the door and you're at the next level. Uh, I'm at 73 health, which is good. Um, if you're at lower health, you just want to turn to the left here and get the shields. Takes an 
extra Saturn or two or something. Um, what you want to do here is just trigger this by jumping on it. Then it knocks the thing down, and you just want to walk through. Uh, you have to land on this. Uh, if you fall down, you won't be able to continue. So I would suggest setting up a quick save before that, just in case. So land on the top, and then just walk forward, grab the Earth Tremor, and we're going to use that to skip the whole level. So... This can be kind of dangerous sometimes. Um, if you go too close to this little lip, you'll just hit it and bounce off. Um, if you go too close to the ladder, you'll hit it and bounce off. So you just want to get kind of in the center, do a quick save, and jump. And it's you don't. It's not hard. Um, it's probably the easiest boost. You just jump, and that's the next level. Turn around to the left, and then keep going left. Uh, turn left again. Shields. Use a shield. Jump up and use grab the heels. And the fireballs. I'm through here and hit the lever. Sometimes these guys will be in the way. If they are, you just want to fireball jump over them. Grab the two roots. They'll uh, give you extra health. And then you just want to do another earth tremor jump here using the green weapon in your one slot. So just switch from your fireball over there and just kind of look down, fire, and look back up. Then come over to these doors. You want to get your fireball out here just in case you run into trouble. So you want to back up into these spikes and then just sit there and, until you get the weapon. So we're just going to do that. Uh, sometimes these guys will be pretty fast. Um, that's why you get the... If they're fast, uh, what you want to do is just get your fireball out and knock them back or else you can get stuck in here. And after you get the weapon, um, it's this yellow thing. You just want to back or go use your earth tremors to boost forward a bit. So we're just going to do that. And then go through. You can get speed boost. Um, it's not too. It's pretty common that you get speed boost, but it's not every time. You just want to go up the stairs and do more, and just keep going. And then once you get here, you just want to fireball jump over. Um, there's two ways to do this. One is to fireball jump over. Sorry. Uh, one is to fireball jump over and hit this. Um, if you jump too high, you'll actually get a damage thing, which you do not want because it's slow. Uh, if you need spells, there's some over there. So fireball a bit in front of you, and once you hit the ground, start charging your, your barrel fire and your one. Um, we're going to do a dupe here, so you just want to shoot through the center of the door once and charge it up all the way. Then for the second shot though, you're just going to, instead of letting go of your, tri uh, of your uh, left click, you're going to hit control in the middle of the shot. And then you can see in the bottom left, instead of having one bail fire, I have zero, which is not supposed to happen. Then once you uh, kill the boss though, you just turn around and the doors are open. So I'll do that once more. Just want to look at the center. And then instead of releasing this one, just hit control and it releases automatically. And then you duped. If you need heals, go over there. Do it once more. So just in the center. And dupe. And you know you did it right if you have zero charges. And then with the zero charges, you just want to jump through. My passage. And now you'll have five charges for some reason. Once you get through though, you just heal you shield and heal the full. If you have an extra earth tremor left over from the last level, um, you can use an earth tremor here. I just use a fireball though. And you get around here and then you just jump over. Hit the lever and then just follow uh, the water. So I'm going to uh, demonstrate two different ways to do this. One is really easy, one's a bit harder. Um, I'll do the easier way first, the old way. So we're just going to run through here. You want to charge up your bail fire And just run at that. Charge another one and uh, you will um, not get damaged. Or you can twitch save and twitch load in order to not get damaged. You want to grab that root because you'll get health. But then you just want to come up here, and when you get to around this point, you want to go straight up again. You're going to land on a little flat part. You want to turn around and just do a boost. That was a slight mistake, but it's okay. Um, do it once more so I can fix that. Then afterwards, I'll do the new way of doing this. Um, it's a bit harder, but that's okay. I would practice this either way though, because uh, you'll get a... 
Oh, and for that last jump, you just want to do a dupe. So instead of firing it, just hit control and you'll have zero, which is what you want. So you just want to come up here. You want to launch a fireball at those boxes, then run straight again. Just follow this. Um, a person's going to come out here. She shouldn't see you. Um, around here, you want to start charging your shot again. And once you come through here, you just want to look straight and dupe again to kill that one. Run straight. You need that chi. Come through here, and you need to kill her. Um, if she launches a spell, I'll show you. It, it should look like a big green thing. She's not launching it for some reason. Oh well. Um, she'll launch a big green spell sometimes. You do not want it to hit you. Um, you should set up a twitch save there, because if it hits you, you're probably dead. Uh, but you just want to get rid of those balefires and grab these real ones. And then go down here with the key you grabbed and use that. Hit that, and then just go straight. And the level end trigger is just to enter one of these doors. So you just unlock that door and enter. So I'll restart this level, and I'll show you the fast way. I'm going to go through it pretty quick. So this is all the same. Um, you want to heal as close to full as you can. You want to get your Balefire out and start charging, and then as you get through here, you're just going to turn around. And that's just to get you closer to this. And then in midair, quick save, quick load. And you won't get a damage thingy. Come through here and just charge up again like normal. And we're just going to go backwards. Same, and then instead of using a Balefire, we're going to quick save and quick load. And then you have one charge, so you want to ditch, or you want to dupe this charge at some point. So what I do is... Use it right here just to get up these stairs a bit faster. Then I grab these. And I use these to do some boosts. So I do a back boost there. I do another back boost here. And then kill her. Another back boost. Get the key. And then I will try to show her spell off here. She's not here. Uh, sometimes she doesn't appear here, that's okay. Um, you just want to charge up anyway. And, oh, there she is. That's the spell. Uh, you can't let that spell hit you. Uh, if she, You don't even want her to launch it. If she launches it, you have to do an alternate route. I'm going to kill her first. And then I you you need a, the bag here. It has to have zero bail fires. And then you just go the normal way. But don't use those bail fires. Um, if the green spell hits you, what you do is you grab that key, turn around. And you just run through here. If you need he health, um, there's some heals in those boxes. And you just go through here again. Except you enter one of the doors. Either way, that's the end of the level. Um, so, this is a pretty difficult level. It's probably the hardest part to learn. Um, it's going to be hard to see on stream, so I'll try to explain it as best I can. Um, other than that, it's just playing around with it for you. Um, you want to go to Sabu or Straightburn's channel probably, you can find different setups as well, but I'm going to show mine off here. So again, just Q, and you don't want to move here. Uh, what you want to do is you want to just stay still and you want to use your bail fires. And what we're going to do is there's a little like the first shot, um, we're going to shoot through about 11 walls to kill four enemies. So it takes four shots and they're kind of precise. So there's a little like upside down kind of C here that I use. And right up to the left of it is another little dot. Um, and I aim straight at that dot. And I charge a full shot there. And just fire at it. Uh, the dot I'm talking about, uh, you can't really see it. It's right there. There's the upside down C. Hopefully you can see it. And um, the dot is right there. So I just, first shot is to fire at that dot. And then what you want to do is it puts you back a bit. You just want to ba back up straight into the corner. And the second setup is just, um, this one's really hard to find. I miss it sometimes, but, um, so you, if you go two pillars down, so one, two, it's on the second pillar. Um, but there's a bunch of different things here and it's hard to see, but, um, right here, 
there's a little there's like a straight line then a line to the left a little and then another straight line down and there's a little spot in between that i shoot at um if i get closer it look uh it changes with the torch which is hard uh, why it's hard to see because of the lighting but that's what i shoot at um it's right there so if you can't see it maybe just look at where my cursor is my cursor is just a little red dot um you do need a small cursor for this probably um you can just go to controls and change that uh either the red dot or the yellow dot will do i'm just used to the red and then but once you find that setup um you just want to shoot if you can't find these setups what you do is you shoot and then you go into ghost and uh this is just you can use tab to get into the console or you can use tilde um you go ghost you go all ammo and just to see how close you are you fly through all these walls back to this little main room um go through this locked door and use your light and what you're aiming at is these last guys in the second last row so you can see the first one hit and my second one hit because there's a person missing um you should be able to see if you go faster than i did you should be able to see your marks on the wall so you can see how close you were and you can do an adjustments based on that um my third setup was really hard to see uh basically there's two sets of um kind of diamonds i guess and i aim just slightly to the right of one of the diamonds again this is all you're gonna have to personally experiment with this um, because it's really hard to see on the stream, and I would take screenshots, but, uh, this game doesn't let you take screenshots, really. Um, but my last one's really easy, uh, so you can probably get at least my first one and my last one off of this. Um, this red, this I said I in a red dress, I just aim kind of close to the middle of her head. It's okay if it's slightly to the right as well. And I just aim up a few ticks, and right around there I fire. And you know you got it right if it says you are victorious on the screen. So I'll just do that once more. Once that happens, um, you want to dupe one more so that you have zero bail fires left. You want to grab these heals, heal to full, and grab the last heals. And you have to be at zero bail fires so that you can get the five here. Um, once you get into this level, though, if you need more spells, um, if you need shields or anything, there's shields in here. There's Earth Tremor and there's heals. Um, so, but you just want to use your shield, charge up another bail fire, do a jump there. You're going to wait for this to open, and then you're just going to stop right there, and you're going to look up, or look down, sorry, hit the lever, go through that door, um, use a spell to break that glass there, and then you want to come over here and collect the spells, so I'll do that once more. Then run through the window, and charge up another bail fire. You just want to do one bail fire there, and then when you're in midair, you just want to charge another one up and do a back boost. And there's two ways to do this. Um, you can jump down and kind of get stuck in this torch, and it'll just kind of pop you out. Or you can just jump down and do a quick save, quick load, which is what I do. Then here, you want to make sure you, you should probably have a shield on here, or else you'll take away too much damage. So I'm going to pop my shield there. I'm going to save. I always save here. Um, and then you want to get your heals out. And you just want to jump through. Um, sometimes you can take a few ticks. Sometimes it'll kill you. But uh, eventually you should be able to get through. And then there's a mirror drill right here. The guy in the purple cloak. So you just want to turn to your left and keep jumping. As soon as you hit the spell though. You're going to hit 8. Or whatever you uh, key binded that spell to. Uh, it's the same as the heal spell, and you're gonna click it, and you're just gonna hold it for a while. So, I'll do that really quick. And it'll give you a bunch of speed if you did it right. Uh, you can see you did it right, because uh, in the top left, it'll go to that purple-headed guy. So, you, once you do that, though, you'll be fast. You just want to grab that key and that lever. Jump through here. There's some bale fires up there that you want to grab. So, as long as you jump in the center, though, you'll get them. They're just right there, and I already picked them up. So I'll do that once more, and then I'll just continue. And again, I, I want to be holding um, my mouse click down, but you just want to turn to the left, go through the door, you want to run into this to make her leave, grab the spell up there, and then you just want to grab these spells. I'm going to head through the door again, and just go back up the way you came. 
Um, you need one charge of uh, disguise for this. Um, so you need one charge. Uh, you can see if you have one charge in the bottom right, there should be a one or a two under it. So I'll do that all in one movement now. So when it hits one, I'm gonna stop holding it down. I'm gonna switch to Balefire, and I'm just gonna do a bat boost like that. Uh, when you get over here, again, there's two ways to do this. Uh, you use a fire shield, and you go to shift, and blow up the mines, or you can just go to shift, and be a bit riskier, and jump, and kind of shift over it. Uh, but once you get through there, you just wanna go to your one slot again, and uh, use your Balefire, and jump at the same time, and just boost like that. And you want to look around the middle to bottom half of this and just bat boost again. And you're going to land right around the throne. Um, and then this throne will, or this little pedestal will go down. And you just want to jump through and grab more bale fires. So there's another boss here. She's right to the left. So I'm just going to, you charge one up, you shoot her, and make sure she's running after you, um, or else a glitch can happen. So you shoot through her once, you want to save there, and then you want to get into this pedestal while charging another shot, and then you just want to shoot her. You have to make sure that you're inside the little square though, um, in order to pick this up. And you just want to, she can come from there or she can come from there. Either way, you just want to hit her. And then uh, there's going to be one in your inventory uh, on the furthest to the right. So you just want to hit zero, go close to the this and uh, it'll go down and then pick the next one up and also place that one down and this is the last level so we're almost through um oh i have a twitch i have a twitch save bug again so i'm gonna get rid of that quickly so once you run through here you want to make sure you're shielded and at full health uh you want to switch over to, to your earth tremor and just do one boost through then when, once you get here again, as long as you're at good heals and have enough health, you can do more. So one more boost. And then we're going to skip another trigger. Um, you're going to walk all the way up here. It'll stop you. And then you just want to jump and fire. So I'll do that once more. Um, and you want to make sure you hit the top of the pillar. So if you hit the top of the pillar, uh, what happens is the AI gets bugged and um, they won't respond to anything you do. So we just skip them like that. So I'll do once more. Hit the top of the pillar. And then what you're going to want to do is switch to swap places in your four. It's the picture of two people. Uh, you just want to look to the right here and swap with that Trolloc I just showed you. Back up a bit. Then here's a difficult trick. Um, is sometimes it doesn't work. But you want to get a fireball out and just boost over there and jump up. Um, sometimes damage though. So it can be pretty risky, but you just want to jump up, turn around and swap, and then turn around quickly and grab this and start running away. Um, so you know you did that right if you swap all the way back. Oh, and have this in your inventory. You have to have that in your inventory. Alright, so you want to charge up your Balefire before coming through this. And just turn around, come over here. You want to go hit zero again to drop that seal. And you're just going to come over here. This lever will activate uh, this minecart to come out. So this will come out and it will destroy that. So we just want hit to the, hit the lever over here. And what you do actually is you, uh, you get this levitate, switch to eight. And then as soon as you get over here, just levitate over and the minecart won't kill you. Uh, if you're a bit slow or don't want to risk it, just hit the lever and wait. It's about a second or a half a second slower, and then just you jump through. You want to use your next Earth Tremor to boost over here, and you want to make sure you hit this lever. You want to heal up a bit and make sure you have a shield up. And then once you get over here, you want to get right around here and just fireball on, up at the top of the pillar, and again, that'll skip the trigger. We're just going to do one more boost forward, and you can just walk past this guy. You want to make sure at this point that most of your heals are used probably, or that you're as close to full as you can. But we're just going to walk through this wall, charging a Balefire. It'll bring you up a bit, 
and you just want to, you can see the seal over there. We just want to get to the little altar there. So you just turn around and boost. Then to get back, you just grab the seal, look at this wall, and boost again. And then the wall that we went through is right there. So you just look down, fireball jump, and you're through. And you just jump out. Then we're going to do one more skip. Um, we're going to turn around at this Trolloc. Or minion or whatever it is. And get a Balefire right up here. And then get your Earth Tremor out. And jump through. I kind of missed it. Um, that can happen. But you just want to get close to it. Jump through. And it'll bounce off of your head. Then we're going to do a pretty hard trick. So I'll do that once more, and then we'll. Oops! I'll do that once more, and then we'll continue to the hard trick. I'm gonna have to freeze AI in order to explain this. Okay. So basically, you're only able to normally carry one seal, and seals are these tablets that we've been collecting. So I have one in my inventory, which means that I cannot carry the other one. Um, we have to bring them back to the altar, but it's slow um, to go there and then come back out and go there. So we just grab them both. Um, thankfully, Straightburn found a technique uh, to carry two at once, but it's pretty difficult. So I suggest you set up a quick save before doing this, right around here. And um, you just want to... You have to jump, then drop the seal, and uh, it'll land on your head. So because I have AI off, it won't land on my head, so I'm going to have to turn that on. But I'll turn that on in a second. So it'll land on your head, and you can tell you did it right if you look up, and it's just slightly to the right or the left of your head. And you have, and you can pick up the other one, and it'll be in your inventory. So I'll, I'm gonna do that quick, quickly. I'll, I'll just kill these guys, I guess. No, I'll just do it normally. So you jump, drop it with control, and then it's on my head. I have the other one in my inventory. You just want to use your bail fire to back boost and switch to eight, which is your levitate, and get through here. Um, it's hard to get these through the pillars, so if I just walk through, you can see that it disappeared and it's not on my head. So uh, what we do is we walk through it in a pretty specific way. So you just want to, really, um, you just want to run at it. You want to make sure it comes in first and you want to come in at an angle. So I'm going to run and jump to the side. You can see it got through the pillar and it's possible to grab. Um, there's better setups than that. Like, if it gets out further, obviously it's easier to grab. There, that's one of the best ones. Um, so once that happens, you just want to get zero again. And uh, jump through. And dupe it, or not dupe it, but place it on your head again by just jumping and hitting control at a certain time. And you'll get used to the timing. Um, and then you just want to grab it. Um, if it is close to the pillar, you want to be careful that it doesn't go through. Or else, uh, well, it's gone again. <laughs> And it's in the pillars, so it's unlikely I'll be able to grab that. But after that, uh, you want to also be careful that you don't place it on walls, or else uh, it can get moved around, and it can actually get like teleported, say, 20 feet behind me, where I'll be unable to grab it. So like, I could be here, and it could be 20 feet behind me, and if I turn around, it'll still be 20 feet behind me that way. So obviously that's not good. Um, so you want to be careful in getting it through walls. But you should have one more Balefire here, so you, so you just want to throw it. And we're about to end the game. And this is where our disguise come in, comes in. So we're going to place the seal that we have in our inventory on the thing. On the desk. And then you're going to switch over to disguise in your 8 slot and use it. And uh, the seal will drop in your inventory. And then you just run into the desk again. And that is the game. So hopefully that's a good start to learning the game. And... Uh, yeah, if anyone has any questions, obviously, uh, feel free to message me on Steam, Skype, or Twitch. I try to check them all pretty regularly. Um, yeah.